Denver is having some growing pains and calling 911 may not fix it. Denver Fire tells us there are parts of the city growing so fast the fire department may need to make changes to keep up. They noticed it based on their response times right now. Here's Anusha Roy. The Denver Fire Department is feeling stretched thin. Growth isn't a bad thing. It's just we want to keep up with that growth. In particular, Northeast Denver, where the fire department is getting more calls for help and started noticing an issue with how long it took to get there. Along that Pena Boulevard, near Tower Boulevard, Tower Road, we have had more opportunity or more instances where we're not quite meeting that four minute goal from time to time. I'm not saying that's the norm. The fire department wants to keep its promise. We want to be who we promised that we're going to be for you and knows if they don't fix this now, it's only going to get worse. Two of the fire stations in that area were built in 1986 and 2004. According to census data, the number of people living in that area grew from nearly 45,000 people in 2010 to more than 74,000 in 2020, an increase of roughly 66% in 10 years. The growth is not done. The areas shaded in brown on this map are areas of new construction or plan still under review. The city developers and fire departments are talking to each other. So what does that conversation look like? When we have a developer wanting to put up a, a massive multifamily residence, sometimes we can go back and say, yeah, we can do that, but we're going to need you to put forth the money to help us put the fire stations, put the firefighters in the locations where they're going to be needed. We try. Of course, this kind of growth is happening outside of Denver as well. The Aurora Highlands is designed to be home to 50,000 people when done. We asked the folks leading it what their protocol is. They said they have to have a public safety plan before breaking ground. And after working with Aurora, the consensus was a development of this size needs its own fire department, which is now in the process of being approved. They also said we have been fortunate so far in the early stages of our development development that response times have been very safe and reasonable and we have not had any issues. So in Denver, they also have approval to build a new fire station. This is near 52nd and Tower Road, but that is still three years away. So the Denver Fire Department is asking City Council to add a rig and staff to their existing stations to keep up with these calls because they need a fix right now, as well as those long term solutions. They can't wait three years for that additional help. If only there was a way for council to consider this before approving the how. Oh wait, no, that's a different story. Right. So when when these crews are getting called out and, and then there's another call, what happens when when people are in need of help and there's no help right there? Yeah, so they start pulling people and rigs and help from other stations in Denver. But what that means is that there's this domino effect, right? And then you have multiple spots through Denver that are lower on resources than they would like until things calm down. So they really are hoping to have some solution in place to alleviate that. In the age old battle of what came first, the fire department or the neighborhood, right. I would hope the fire department comes first. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Anusha.